She likes us with kind of how you finna get the one that got two seats. Yeah, that's it. She likes us with kind of how she finna get the one that got two jacuzzis. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> man, oh man, I love listening to Sauce in the morning. <laughs> <clears throat> Attention passengers, we are now approaching our final destination, Bikini Bottle, home of the Krabby Patty. Also holds the Guinness World Records of convicts, so make sure you keep your wallets real close. <laughs> hey, by any chance you know where I can find 435 Fish Drive? 435 Fish Drive? Yeah, that's my buddy Sketchy and Kmore's house. <laughs> you gonna go down this road, make a left on Hickory Street, go three blocks down till you reach the White Castle, then make a right, walk past the one and now entering the ghetto sign. <laughs> It'll be the second house to your right. Anything you can tell me about the guys living there? Oh, them boys are funny. <laughs> Sketchy is a repeated felon. That boy been in jail longer than Wesley Snipes. <laughs> and Kaymore, woo, something's wrong with that one. I think he doing some Stockholm Syndrome stuff to talking to a roach or something. Thanks. Here's a few bucks for your trouble. A few bucks? This is going straight to my black Air Force Ones fund. <laughs> Thank you, little creepy stranger. Man, this is some trash. Pass the ball. No, no, come on. I don't even know why I play this stupid game. Go away. I said go away. I don't want what you selling. I don't want any Girl Scout cookies. I don't want someone trying to convert me into a higher power. And I especially don't want to be served by any lawsuits. Ugh, fine, coming. What do you want? I'm looking for my pops. Pops? Uh-oh, look, if you one of my kids, I gotta let you know, straight off the bat, I'm sorry for not being there for you for your whole life, but I'm gonna need to see the blood test first. Don't trip, I'm definitely not your kid. I'm K-more. K Moore Jr. K Moore Jr. What the? Oh, K Moore Jr. You telling me you K Moore son? That's what I said, ain't it? I know I ain't stutter, so you gotta be either deaf or stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. listen, kid. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but you're gonna put some respect on me. Man, whatever. Can you get out of the way so I can come in? No, 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 no. You can wait out here a while. I'll call your pop so we can get all this figured out. That's if he really is your dad. So where is he? He is out with his wife at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Man, you punch hard. My throat still hurts. Are you gonna call him, or are you just gonna stand there and look stupid? Look, baby. Personally, I love him when you eat. You know I love my woman nice and big. But I'm starting to worry about you. You starting to sweat buckets in your sleep. And I don't know if that's something I should be concerned about. Baby, my doctor said as long as I can lay on my side, I should be good. And as long as I drink one cup of water a day, I won't dehydrate. So I be drinking my cup of water a day, baby. As long as I add five spoons of sugar, uh, some cinnamon in it, I'm good. If you say so, baby. Oh, it's sketchy. He must change his mind about bringing him some food. <laughs> I can't promise I won't eat his food on the way home, but I can promise I'll try not to. Hey, Sketchy, what's up? Oh, nothing, k -more. Just wanted to call you and see how you were doing. Well, that's really nice of you, buddy. Honestly, today has been a stressful day. I had to teach a class about belly dancing. And at this age, Sketchy, it ain't that easy. My body don't wobble like it used to. <laughs> how was your day? Mm. Well, it's been good. Got to watch the game. Then Bebe came over and we got a little freaky. <laughs> then got to play some 2K. And oh, yeah, let me think. I got punched in the throat by your younger freaking kid. My kid? What you talking about, Sketchy? Yeah, man. This kid came to the crib knocking on the door talking about he's K. Moore Jr. And he's looking for his pops. I told him to wait outside while I gave you a call. But he punched me in my throat. Just walked up here and now he's eating my pop tarts. Are you messing with me, Sketchy? Who put you up this? Is it Ashley Kutcher doing punk again? <laughs> man, I used to love this show. Hold on, K. Moore. Hey, kid. How old are you? 15. Where you from? Mississippi River. What's your mom's name? Debbie Macy. Okay, K Moore. Based on the information I just learned, did you happen to hook up with a chick named Debbie Macy from Mississippi River about 15 years ago? Uh, hmm. Well, actually, now that you mention it, uh, uh oh. Well, 
Sounds like you the pappy. I still recommend you get a blood test, K more. Cause let me tell you, child support is not cheap. How can we be serious so sad? Well, actually, when a man and a woman has intimacy without protection, it can result in an unwanted pregnancy. Are you dumb? Hey! You ain't gonna talk to my wife like that! I'm sorry. Sorry that you were dropped in your head as a baby and don't understand how sex works. Oh boy, this got my attention now, Larry. I knew, right? What a way to start season five. Cable with a kid, any disrespecting biscuits. Oh yeah, this gonna be a good one. Where your mama at, Junior? I'm taking you back. I can't deal with this. This too much. She's dead. Oh, dang. Cable, you sound like a jerk now. <laughs> a big jerk. Come on, man. His mom's is dead. I'm gonna need everybody out the room. I need my moment with my son. Ugh, this sounds weird. Okay, Junior, this is the thing. I'm not dad material you here. Yeah, I know. You're kind of a moron. I'm going to pretend like I ain't hear that. Look, I'm sorry about the mom. And even though I ain't ready to be a dad, it's only right that I let you stay here with us. Since I kind of missed out on your life. All right, cool. Give me 20 bucks. How do you ask? Give me 20 bucks now. Junior, you've got to say please. Please give me 20 bucks. Give me 20 bucks right now, please. You see? Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> here you go, son. Bet. I'm out of here. I'll be back later. All right. Make sure you get back here before nine. Your ass got a curfew and we got to register to you in school tomorrow. <laughs> Everything good in here, K-Moore? I got worried when I stopped hearing you yelling. Started thinking he knocked your ass out too. It's all good, Sketch. I think everything's going to be just fine. We set some boundaries. Talked about it. We all good. Thank God for that. You sent him to a foster home or something? No, Sketchy. <laughs> I said he could stay with us. You said what? Yeah, I said he could stay with us, Sketchy. <laughs> Sounds fun, right? k -more. I don't want no damn delinquent anywhere near me. He's a menace to society. <laughs> the irony of you saying that is so funny. It's the same thing people say about you. <laughs> Anyways, come on, Sketchy. Please, let him stay here with us. I didn't even know I had a son till today. I missed out on him growing up. I miss his first steps, his first pimple. Probably miss his damn virginity the way he look. How about this? I'll pay more than the rent if he stays. Mm, I mean, I can't argue with that. <laughs> All right, K-Moore, you got yourself a deal. Good old Junior can stay. Great. I appreciate you, buddy. You're the best. I know. And now I'm going to sleep. Good night, Sketchy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Only bug in here is Larry. So hopefully he don't bite your ass. Three hours later. Young man, do you have any idea what time it is? I don't know. Do I look like a clock? It is 3 in the morning, Junior. I told you to be back here before 9. I was worried and sick about you. Why didn't you call me to let me know you okay? Dude, relax. It ain't even that deep. We never exchanged numbers either, so I mean, I don't know how you expect me to call you. I'm sorry, Junior, but you're grounded. Give me your phone. What? Are you serious? You grounding me? I'm dead serious. Give me that phone, boy, and go straight to your room. Fine. Whatever. Here. Ooh, Kaymo, you got a lot of work cut out for you, boy. Morning, buddy. How did you sleep? Morning, Pops. I slept great. Look, I wanted to say I'm sorry about last night. It's okay, Junior. I get it. I was a teenager once upon a time. <laughs> oh, dear God. Sketch, what happened to you? I can ask you the same thing, K-More. <laughs> you like you've been trying to be a SoundCloud rapper. Oh, real mature, Junior. You drew on my face with a Sharpie? Trust me, it's not a Sharpie. You might want to start saving up for some laser hair removal. Yeah. They're tattoos? I don't have a single tattoo in my body and you put a tattoo on my face? Yeah, you're surprisingly a very heavy sleeper. You didn't wake up for any of it. <laughs> and you wanted a son, K-Boy, now you got it. You think it's funny, Sketchy? Look at yourself. What the? I'ma kill him. Where my gun at? Which one is this one? Junior? You smoke? Come on, K-Boy. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. And how you just do that? Give me the cigarette. These are bad for you. 
They can kill you, Junior. God, why are you being annoying, bro? Because I'm your father, and you will respect me. Now, go cut the lawn or something. You crazy. Woo, y'all look like y'all doing a circus. <laughs> Larry, if there were ever a bad time to push my buttons, it's right now. Get out of here before I pull all the bug juice up out of you and spray your ass. You got it, Sketch. You ain't got to tell me twice. Look, k -more, I ain't going to tell you how to raise your kid. Mainly because I got five of them myself that I don't even see. But you got to lay some discipline here before he gets more out of hand. I grounded him for his phone, Sketchy. What else do I do? I mean, is it too late to spank him? Hell, you're never too old for a whooping. Hmm. I don't know if I can hit him, but I think I have the alternate for it. Let's go. How y'all boys doing? What can I do for y'all on this fine evening? <laughs> How much do you charge for beating someone up? k well, you gonna hire somebody else to beat up your kid? You absolutely right. I am, Sketch. What better person than my cousin? <laughs> your cousin? Y'all related? Yeah. Yeah, he my cousin. <laughs> and we'll just find out about this five seasons later. Well, no one ever asked. Duh. <laughs> yeah. I saw some fans had this theory I was his father or something. That would have been a good twist. But nah, <laughs> he my damn cousin. For kids, I just charge a little extra. Only because they're minors. It's more illegal. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> All right, consider it done. <laughs> nice doing business with y'all. I'll see you at the cookout next week. I'm out of here. You want a burger, boy? Nah, I'm Gucci. Okay, he's on the move, Ken. Get him good. Well done. I'm going to fuck his ass up. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here you come. Are you sure this is a good idea, k -more? I know I'm the one who suggested spanking the boy, but I kind of had an idea you would be the one hitting him. Not a hit from a higher guy. Don't give it too much thought, Skitch. It'll be fine. You want a burger? Well, of course I do. You gonna watch the fight tonight? Which one? Fish Paul versus a retired golf player. Oh yeah, of course I am. <laughs> I love seeing this man beat on non-professional fighters and calling himself the greatest fighter ever. <laughs> Genius marketing though. Yeah, yeah. My crotch itches. Okay, so now once the rice is properly mixed up, you want to just put the heat at a low heat and let it sit for 15 to 18 minutes and cover it up. Don't open it during your duration. You don't want to let the flavor escape from the pot now. <laughs> While we wait for that, let's go back and focus on this skirt steak. Okay, you want to flip these over and some lime in it with some Goya seasoning. Inhale in it, y'all. Yum! Get y'all excited, right? <laughs> My basically love some Hispanic food. Don't forget to pour a little bit on the Corona on there. Remember, that's Corona beer, not Corona flu. <laughs> Does a little diet joke there. Damn, I'm a diet. That's crazy. Hold that thought, class. Let that meat simmer for a while. I gotta take this call. Excuse me. Ken, what happened? Did you beat him up? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. I'll be there in a bit. What's up, K-Moore? Ken's in the hospital. Come on, Sketch. I just warmed up this Roman. Bring it with. All right. I love me some Roman. You got any hot sauce in the car? Oh, damn. What happened to you? Well, <laughs> as you can see, the patient suffers from a mild concussion, a few broken ribs, and an internal bruising. Yada, yada, yada. Why are you talking like that? Where's the doctor at? I'm the doctor. I couldn't get someone to cover my shift, so I had to treat myself. I'm going to need one of y'all to help me out of this bed soon. I got to go check on another patient. What happened to Junior? Is he all right? Junior the one who did this to me. That boy is evil. Y'all need to hire a priest for that one. Have you with an exorcist or something? Don't even hire me again. He'll test sparks plus to my nipples and gave me some electric shock therapy. It's safe to say my nipples are going to have nerve damage for the rest of my life. Yikes. I'm glad that ain't my son. <laughs> no, but he is staying in the same house as you, so he's just as much of your problem as he is mine. Damn it. You might be right about that. You ever consider boarding school? Boarding school? Yeah, you know. They take him in, discipline him, teach him, house him, feed him. He may come back as a law-abiding citizen. You may be on to some sketchy. Let's go. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? Why is he in the handcuffs? We've got a noise complaining about a party. When we got here, this kid was distributing alcohol and marijuana to other underage kids. It wasn't my marijuana, was it? Officer, can you lay him off with a warning or something? I'm sure there must be something we could work out. K-more, come here real quick. I say, 
Why not let him take him in the juvie? That way he's out of your hands for a whole while. Now, I don't know, Sketch. I can't do that to my boy. I want to help him out. Not let him go down in the dog pile and end up like, no offense, Sketchy, but you, I don't want him to end up like us. I want more for him. Damn. As messed up as that was that you said about me, that's some real stuff, k More. All right, man. Go get your son. Daddy of the year over here. Excuse me, officer. With this, uh, Benjamin Franklin change your mind about releasing my boy? I do like Benjamin Franklin. You got his siblings? I think six or seven Benjamin Franklins might change my mind. Damn, that's a lot of siblings. Fine, here. All right, son, you're free to go. You're lucky ever this guy is your dad. I would've just let you go to jail. What you do that for? Because I ain't finna let you end up like sketchy or something. You're better than that pathetic loser low-life piece of garbage. Dude, I'm literally standing right here. Sorry, sketchy. But anyways, I want you to do something with your life. Be better. I'm sending you to boarding school, where they'll teach you to straighten up and fly right. Take a good look at Sketchy, Joint. You don't want to end up like him. A convicted fella with no job, always strapped for cash, smelling like B.O. and Tuna. I'm going inside, man. You hear me, my boy? Am I going to get through to you? Yeah, Dad. You actually are. That's great, buddy. Now go pack your bed. We're going to drive you there. All right, Pops. You take real good care of yourself there, Tonya. I'm going to come visit you every chance I get. Will do. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Oh. <laughs> I guess happy endings do happen, huh, K. Moore? They sure do, Sketchy. They sure do. Daddy, is that you? Oh, damn. Let's go, K. Moore. Time to go home. Oh, uh, Sketchy. I think that kid is talking to you. Kid? Uh, what kid? I don't see no kid. You can call me Stevie Wonder. Let's go. I ain't sketchy. You sure that ain't your kid? His ass look just like you. Hell, he even sound like you too. <laughs> Man, k on know what the hell you talking about. So be quiet. The only thing that's on my mind is getting a job. Man, I ain't had no check in the long ass time. Since I stopped selling drugs, my ass been broke. I, I hate this life. Ooh, who you telling? Because I'm tired of supporting your broke ass since you got out of jail. Matter of fact, are you going to ask Mr. Crab for your old job back? Yeah, more than likely. But shit. I really hate to work, but it's an easy-ass check. Plus, I get to eat free food, and I get to smoke on the job. Shit, this is a stoner's domain. <laughs> oh, maybe I can apply for it, too. Get to work with two and ton again, so we could be like old pals. <laughs> uh, no. I don't know about that. We already did that season, too, and we know how that worked out. Eugene! Uh, I mean, Mr. Krabs, how's it been, man? Long time no see. Well, 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 Mr. Butterscotch, what the fuck are you doing here? Okay, I'll I get straight to the point. Uh, I know we had our differences. I beat you up, you try to fire me, I steal from you, you steal my tips. I throw money at you and send you to Africa with pounds of angel dust that I end up going to jail for, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But together, we make a great team in the fast food business. I'm the best fried cook in this place ever had. And I think it's about time I come back. My boy, business has been just fine since you left. SpongeBob has been working the grill, and he's doing it for half the hourly pay I used to pay you. It's a steal. He's never late to work. He don't smell like weed and B.O., and he's cheaper. So what the hell no for me, Mr. Buttertouch? Fine work somewhere else. Damn. All right, then. <laughs> All right, class, the main thing you need to remember is top of the top of the top of the top is all in your heels. What helps me imagine I'm dancing on my father's grave. <laughs> Look at my feet go. Come on, y'all. Get your happy feet on. <laughs> Man, move out of the way. You blocking the TV. All right, class, let's take a break. We'll be back here in 10 minutes to rehydrate and smoke a cigarette if you have to. <laughs> Sketchy! You know I got the living room between 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. every Monday, Thursday and Sunday for the tap dancing class. Yeah, and you also need it for your strip teasing class, 6 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Your fishing class is from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And your how to be a pimp class is 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. every Thursday. Your how to teach a class class, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday. 
All you do is teach classes. How do you have time for anything else? I work from home, Sketchy. I can't help that I'm multi-talented. <laughs> I feel like I need to give back to the community with these classes and share my talent, you know? It's just too much for me, man. I never get peace and quiet in my own house. Well, why don't you just watch TV in your room then? Because my TV ain't as big as this one. This TV got some AK quality. I can see the Rock's muscles having a conversation with each other. Hey, man, this guy stank. Who, who you telling? Hey, man, are you bigger than me? I thought this man, like, portionalized his weights to keep it even. But you look really bigger than me. No, yeah, it's because The Rock chronically masturbates every 5, 10 minutes. And he's right-handed, so, you know, obviously I'm, I'm bigger than you and I got a deeper voice. So, yeah. You know we're going to be in another Kevin Hart movie, right? It's like the fourth one together. <sighs> uh... How you feel about The Rock playing Black Adam? Man, I don't know. It looks like The Rock is just playing The Rock while wearing some cosplay. It's like Kevin Hart playing himself in every movie. It gets repetitive. I'm gonna go watch it. Hopefully he proves me wrong. But we'll see. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg does that too. But anyway, back to our main topic. What happened to your job, honey? You been on this castle so goddamn long, I think you're morphing into the fabric. Yeah, I was trying to find a job from Fendi, but with my resume and being a convicted felon, it's kind of hard to find some work for me during this time. The only jobs on there was a party clown. Magicians for kids, parties, teachers. It's weird, it's like, it's like they want criminals to be surrounded by kids. I got an idea. Why don't you ask Ken if he can help you with a job? He got like 20 of them. Maybe he can hook you up. You know what? That ain't a bad idea. I'm gonna do that. Damn, he stank. I need to put some Lysol on this ASAP. I think we're gonna need a new cap. This thing's been through a lot. <laughs> so you're broke and unemployed. Came here to get it with the big dog, huh? Hmm, maybe I can help you out. Maybe I can't. What's in it for Ken? Well, boys, man. Help me out. I help you out, boy. When have you ever helped me out? Every time I help you out, your girl always robs me. Hey man, can you put the onions away real quick? My eyes are burning. Yeah, you are right. I can cut this up later. Fuck them customers that want onions on their food. Oh, stinky breath asses. All right, look, either you can help me out, or I can go back to the jail and tell them the warden how you grab inmates and make them fight each other for money. Oh, damn, you snitching now? Well, I like to call it extortion. <laughs> you got a deal, Mr. Butterscotch. Look at you using big words. It's Thorson. Boy, I'm proud of you. I'll tell you what. I just opened a convenience store with all the money I've been saving up for working these jobs. You can work the register. I need an overnight guy. Shit, I ate him down. Great. 10 o'clock, Sketchy. Don't be late. <laughs> My eye itches. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. You touched Ah, oh, damn. My fucking eyes. Son of a bitch. This shit hurts like a motherfucker. God damn. Son of a whore, bitch, fuck, bitch, shit, nigga. Okay, Sketchy, simple stuff. If anyone tries to buy any liquor or cigarettes, make sure you ID them. They gotta be 14 years old, all right? Or is it 16? Let's just say 12, just to be safe. <laughs> if anyone tries to buy illegal fireworks, make sure they ain't an undercover cop. They been trying to crack down on me. Uh, I think that's about it. You have a good night, Sketchy. <laughs> that boy gonna get shot for sure. Man, it's dull around here. I got a solution to that. <sighs> yeah, there we go. More like it. me and my blizzy. Shift gonna be smooth now. <laughs> One long shift mixed with good weed later. All that weed made my ass hungry. Mm, what can I eat? Sketchy, I bought you a lunch just in case you was hungry. Wow, boy, your timing is amazing. You read my mind. I was just finished and I said I was hungry. Yeah, I figure you smoked that strain that killed John Wayne. <laughs> you usually get mad munches when you smoke that. K Moy, you know me so well. That's why you my dog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there you go. Uh, K Moy, there's only vegetables in this bag. What? Oh, man. Biscuit's ass must got in it. She ate everything except the vegetables. That's definitely some hush shit. I gotta blend her goddamn carrots with extra chocolate milkshake just so I can get her to eat it. Sorry about this, Sketchy. Hey, but at least you know my intentions were there. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure Ken won't mind me taking a bag of potato chips. I'm proud of you, Sketchy. You finally got a job. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go and head home. I gotta be up early. I'm teaching a class about dangers and repercussions of drugs. You mind if I use your mug shot? Uh, sure, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll see you at home. Bye. 
Hey yo, empty the register. <laughs> Boy, y'all picked the wrong cashier. I got this blicker and it's gonna pop pop. Now y'all gonna get about this store. Go on back home and cry to your mama. Cause y'all ain't getting a damn thing got this register. Hey y'all beat his ass. Ah! The shit! Ah! La 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 la. <laughs> ah, new day, same shit. <laughs> oh, damn! What happened here? Where's the money? Uh, man, I got jumped and robbed last night. They took all that shit. Look back at the security cameras. All right, I got the footage automatically on my phone using this app. Isn't that crazy? What a time to be alive. It's unbelievable. Just from access to your fingertips. Oh, damn! They Jeez. beat your ass, sketchy! <laughs> They stumbled the hell out of you. Boy, I was out there to see that shit live. <laughs> That's a good ass paper. Uh, I'm sorry. Sketch what happened. I thought you was this tough guy. Man, I'm not no John Wick or Jason Bourne. It was six of them, man. And one of me. I got a good few hits in if you just, you know, look at the footage and see. Well, unfortunately, Sketchy, that just means I got to let you go. I'm sorry it didn't work out, buddy. Man, what? Because I got jumped and robbed, you firing me? What was I supposed to do? That's not fair. Yeah, I know it's not. They robbed all the money and I had invested in this place. Without that, I can't even be able to play my employees. I'm going to have to work all this shit myself till I make some good entries. Besides, I really just hired your ass because you were scary looking. I thought no one would even try to rob this place with your ass in it. But I guess I was wrong. <sighs> I'll give you a call when I can rehire you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> got his ass beat. Damn, did one of them take a shit on the floor? Clean up on Al too? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I guess I gotta clean this shit up. Man, I only had a job for a night and I already lost it. This ain't looking too good for the sketch dog. I need to find some soon. Hi there, sir. Are you interested in purchasing a new boat today? We have a large variety of selections from Dodge Hellcat fishes to soccer mom fans. You look like you'd be perfect in a new 2045 model fish Tesla. And I'll tell you what, I'll even throw in the blacked out non-poppable tires with hydraulic systems. Uh, no, man. I don't need no boat, I'm good. Are you totally sure? I just got a shipment of those fuzzy dice people like to hang over their rear view mirrors. Nah, I don't got that much money, man. And by the way things are going, I don't see myself buying a new boat anytime soon. Well, we also have the broke niggas lot. The best rundown cars all over Bikini Bottom. What's with the tow truck? Oh, the tow truck. <laughs> It's a fascinating machine. Just needs a little bit of work and a little bit of love, you know? But I really think it needs the right owner. And that owner is you. It's yours for the right price. Yeah, all I got is 500 bucks. It's all I got in my name. You know what? With an 85% APR and a 35% interest rate, you got yourself a deal, buddy. Let's step into my office. Sign the paperwork. Bet. <laughs> now we getting somewhere. <laughs> He's out! Bye-bye! Bye! Haha, <laughs> what a sucker! That tow truck was reported stolen! And it's in such bad shape, I'm surprised it drove off the lot! <laughs> money for me, money for me! Yeah, now we in biz. Sketchy the tow truck driver. Let's make this money, boy. Oh, damn! Come on! Let's go, baby! Don't fail me now! All right, Larry, it's my turn to go hide. <laughs> Man, wait a minute. It's my turn to go hide. What you mean? You just got done hiding, Larry. It's my damn go. No, man, it ain't fair. I ain't get a fair chance, man. It's my turn to go hide. You ain't playing fair, K-Moore. Hey, I don't give a damn what your ass talking about. It's my damn turn. You better start counting right now Why I go hide. Me, whatever, bruh. Yeah, damn! <laughs> man, that truck smoking! Hell yeah, yeah, god damn! <coughs> Sketchy, why the hell you got this ugly ass pickup truck for? <coughs> you talking about my baby right here? Shoot, I got it on a good deal. Couldn't turn it down. This is why I can make money towing stuff, you know, boats and everything. Sketchy, the engine is on fire! Oh, damn! Wait a minute! <laughs> oh, yeah, you got a crappiest hunk of junk I ever seen out the lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't get this damn tow truck a week. Man, whatever. My tow truck just needs some love and some work. Soon it'll pay for itself. Man, it thing got more rust on it than Sarah Jessica Parker's panani. <laughs> 
Well, I sketchy. Me, Biscuits, and Larry going to a carnival later. You want to go with us? Nah, I think I'm just going to fix the carburetor on the truck. And I also think the air filter is clogged. And I need to order and install some exhaust pipe. This truck is definitely going to need some work. So lately, I've been writing an autobiography because my life been crazy. And I think someday somebody might find it entertaining. You know, like things when I help save Bikini Bottom from the snails. How I helped the FBI take down Scarfin. How I was eaten by a 50 ton worm. Yada, yada, yada. You know, a lot of things that happened throughout all these seasons. We need one competitor. One competitor to compete. What is going on? Oh, there's a hot dog eating contest going on over there. Whoever eats the most hot dogs in one minute wins. Oh my God. Is this a dream? There's a competition involved eating food? Hold my cotton candy and don't drop it. Oh, oh damn! Only thing of cotton candy. Cotton candy weigh more than me. Well, we give you a glass of milk and you cannot remove the dog from the bun. Condiments are at your disposal. At the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, oh God. Damn! She eat like a machine. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Ain't it sexy? I get in the mood when I see her eat. She can put it away, boy. Just like she do mine. <laughs> Never mind. I'm done. Can I have some more? Uh, um, you finished 20 hot dogs in 35 seconds. You qualify as the winner. Uh, move out the way. I'm hungry. Business, baby. The competition is over. You can stop eating now. Baby, I know, but once I get started, I just can't stop. I got to eat but keep eating. I was mighty impressed with your woman eating all these hot dogs here. Thank you. Business live to eat. And eat to live. I've managed professional eating competitors, and I've never seen anyone eat like her. I love to manage her and enter her some competitions. You hear that, Biscuit? You can get paid to eat. Get paid to eat? Oh my God, that's like a dream come true. Where do I sign up? Here you go. You're making the right choice. We can make big money. Hmm, let me just twist right there. Maybe hit it right there with a mallet. Attach this right there. Ah! Damn, I almost had it there this time. She just needs a little bit more love, that's all. How's the tow truck doing? It's coming along just fine. I replaced the battery, changed the spark plugs, found out that the serpentine belt broke off, and then the coolant was leaking, and the brake pads was molded. <laughs> Damn, all that sounds expensive. Hell yeah, it was. Had to sell my carry low fives. But it'll be worth it once this baby is up to date. How was the carnival? It was fun. Biscuit into a hot dog eating contest and set a new record. We even made a deal with a manager to help Biscuit go go pro. Damn, that's really something out there for everyone. But that sounds like some Biscuit will be good at. Yeah, they're about to go train and get Biscuit ready. She has a competition tomorrow. So we're going to test out how much she can eat without stopping. Trust me, K-More. I had no doubt in my mind Biscuit could eat this whole house if it was edible. <laughs> yeah, you right. I'm going to go inside and start feeding Biscuit. We got a lot of training to do. Good luck on fixing your ugly ass truck. <laughs> I'm just realizing my truck missing back rims. How did I drive this thing without dying? Ooh. Ooh. How long was that? 23 seconds. Damn, Biscuit. That's your personal best. I'm still hungry. Let's set up for another go. Biscuits, baby, we can't. That was all the food we had in the crib. We even out of condiments. You drank all the ketchup and soy sauce, including mustard. Hey, we have a gig, a donut eating contest. Oh, Biscuits do love donuts. Her favorite is raspberry filled with strawberry frosted extra extra sprinkles. Did you say raspberry filled with frosted extra extra sprinkles? You got what up, K-Boy? No, not on me right now, Biscuit. K-Boy, don't you ever mention raspberry filled with strawberry frosted extra extra sprinkles unless you have a raspberry filled with strawberry frosted extra extra sprinkles. Here my Lamborghini here. Way to go, Sketch Dog. You outdid yourself. Damn, Sketchy. Where did you learn how to fix cars? Oh, I just learned the basics from one of my mom's boyfriends. Then learned the advanced shit in Juvie from the guy named Toolbox. I never forget Toolbox. He was like a father figure to me. Then he got stabbed 75 times in the shower. Heh, <laughs> good times. Uh, okay. So what are you planning on doing with the tow truck? To tow? Duh. What else am I gonna do with it? Oh, have you ever towed before? No. Well, you got a lot to learn. 
Maybe I can help you. Larry, what do you know about towing? Oh, man. I towed for Big Fish Tow Company for 47 years. I seen some real shit and dealt with some real shit. I was one of the best in the towing industry. Damn, 47 years? How old are you, Larry? I'm 65 years old. I'm retired now and live off pension. I did not know you was that old. Man, you look amazing for being that old. What's your secret on looking so young? Well, I baby been coconut milk three times a day. Keep the skin fresh and young looking. So, do you need help towing? Hmm, fuck it. It couldn't hurt. Biscuits is the winner. Here's a $5,000 check. Congratulations, Biscuits. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, baby. What are we gonna eat for lunch? I got two turkeys in the oven right now with some mashed potatoes and corn on the cob. Oh my God, come on, let's go home. Wait a minute, Biscuits. Let's go cash the check first. Congratulations, Biscuits. But, um, <laughs> remind you that I'm entitled to 20% of your earnings. And also, I got Biscuits a new gig tomorrow at a hot wing eating competition. Oh, damn. I won't be able to make it. I have a voice acting class to teach tomorrow. Well, baby, I could just skip the competition if you want me to. No, baby, you can't postpone just because of me. I'll be cheering you on from home. Don't worry. I'll be there with Biscuits. Can't help but to support a big beauty like Biscuits. <laughs> she is the beauty. Come on, baby. Let's go home. Park up in front of him. All right. All right, now go ahead and lower the hook. Lay it on the ground. All right, then. Attach the hook underneath the front of the frame, not the bumper. If you attach it in front of the bumper, you're going to rip that motherfucker clean off. Then you got to pay to fix it. The frame is strong enough to hold together and pull the vehicle. Shit, I probably would have just attached to the bumper. Yeah, most people think that's how you do it, but no. Nah, that's why you ride with a pro. I'm going to show you all the ins and outs. Now raise the boat. Now we bring it up to the police tow lot. Then they will pay us as a group. Easy 500 for the day. Now you're gonna always get people who try to bargain you about releasing their shit. Now whether you do it is up to you. What most of us do is have them pay us cash personally. That way we just don't waste gas pulling and just move on to the next one. I have only 30 bucks on me. Now you see, they right there is some bullshit. Take this dude boat. Yeah, you got me messed up. You can pick up this piece of shit vehicle at the police lot tomorrow, broke ass boy. Well done, Sketchy. Now, class, it is important to make sure you practice on a daily basis. What most voice actors do to start off is impersonate people you know in real life, whether it be a friend, a family member, or even your first grade teacher who got fired for having sex with a janitor in the teacher's lounge. Let me give you an example. Here's the impersonation of my best friend, Sketchy. Hi, my name's Sketchy, and I'm a grumpy drug dealer. Now here's one of my pal Larry. I'm Larry the Roach. I used to be a black dot, and now I'm a reoccurring character. Here's one of my baby biscuits. I'm biscuits, and I love my sweet k -boy. See? It is as easy as that. <laughs> All right, K-Moy. Me and Larry leaving for the day. Uh, Sketchy, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah, of course. I'll be right back, class. Don't go anywhere. So what do you think about business being a pro eater? I think it's cool. It makes her happy, makes her money. What more can he ask for? Well, I think her manager has a crush on her. He gets really friendly with her and, and I don't like it. Oh, you over exaggerating. Biscuits love you and she wouldn't ruin that for anyone. Huh, I guess you right, Sketchy. Maybe I'm just tripping. Hell yeah, you tripping. Just finish your class and go take the bubble bath with some white wine. That'll always cheer you up. Congratulations, Biscuits. Are you hungry? Yes, all the time. I have five pounds of rotisserie chicken at my apartment if you'd like to join me. Sure. I never turn down free food. Let me just call K-Boy first and let him know. Mm, no, 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 no. You don't want to disturb his class, right? He's a busy man. Hmm. You may be right about that. I can just call him where the class is. Larry, this is the sweet life. Easy money. Hell yeah it is. Come to think about it, this is probably the only time me and you ever got along. You ain't as bad as I thought you was. I used to think you were just some rodent who lived in my house and ate up my food. But you had a little good friend. You're a good friend too, Sketch. Maybe this is the beginning of something new. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh my God. 
You look so very sexy chowing down all that food. Uh, no, uh, don't do that. I'm a married woman. You're too beautiful to be tied down to one man. A woman like you deserves it all. Mr. Manager, I have all I need, and that's my baby cable. Now I believe her and go hold the hill. I almost forgot this. Can't let this food go to waste. What else you got over here? I see you got a four piece nugget and some mashed potatoes, some corn. Okay, okay. Now, good day to you. It's a certain heart spring that pulls when you go. La 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 la. How was your day, baby? Kaibor, you won't believe the manager tried to make a move on me. It pissed me off. What did you do? I got out of there faster than I could eat a plate of ribs. I'm a happily married woman. I don't want no side piece, unless them side pieces are food. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I must admit, I had some insecurity, but I'm glad to know my woman is faithful. Are you hungry, baby? Now you know damn well I'm hungry, baby. Let's eat. You getting so big, buddy. I can't wait to smoke you. Good morning, Sketchy. Good morning, k -more. How was your night? Turns out that manager was trying to flirt with biscuits. Damn, so what's up? Are we gonna run it up and beat his ass? No, it's okay, Sketchy. Bitsy turned him down. It's all good. You wanna walk to the comic book store with me? Fuck it. I need issue 91 of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. So, Sketchy, who is your favorite Green Lantern? I thought you had never asked me. I'm telling you, Sketchy, Hal Jordan was the best Green Lantern. And I'm telling you, k -more, John John Stewart was the best Green Lantern. That man used his military architectural knowledge to construct his arsenal. He did more with the ring than Hal Jordan ever could. Are you forgetting Hal Jordan constructed his own Green Lantern ring out of pure will? Pure will, Sketchy. That man's willpower was strong enough to make a Green Lantern ring. Are you also forgetting Hal Jordan was strong enough to wipe out the Green Lantern corpse and recreate Coast City after he got destroyed? Come on now, put some respect on his name. Exactly. He failed to save his own town. That's like Batman being unable to save Gotham City. That's like Superman being unable to save Metropolis. John Stewart could never. I'm sorry. You ain't changed my mind about this, K-More. We'll see you about that. We need to bring an expert here in this conversation. Hello, good sir. Can you settle a debate for me and my pal here? Twitch! Is that you? S sketchy. Buddy, wow. What a pleasant surprise. I barely recognize you without the Bin Laden beard. I haven't seen you since I punched out of that dump of a jail. But am I right? How you been? I've been great, man. Oh, k -more. This is Twitch. He was my cellmate before Tyrone. He's the one I told you about the, who broke out of jail, remember? Oh, yeah. He's the one that fondled you, right? Yeah, but it was a spiritual one, remember? Not physical. Right, Twitch? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Now, not physical at all, but I did use my fins in uh, massage oil. Twitch, can you settle a debate for us? Me and Sketch have been arguing about who's the better Green Lantern. I say Hal Jordan, but Sketchy says John Stewart. Hmm, my honest expert opinion here. I gotta say Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner was definitely the best Green Lantern. Kyle Rayner? That forgetful re Come on, Twitch. Now, 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 hold on. Let me explain. You see, Hal Jordan usually used his pilot history to make aircrafts, fighter pilots, you know, whatever. John Stewart used his ring with his military history, making machine guns, tanks, whatever. But Kyle Rayner? Kyle Rayner was a comic book creator. He used his imagination with his ring, creating dragons, pirate ships, lightsabers. His creativity was his limit. Man, yada, yada, yada. I still think Hal Jordan watches both John Stewart and Kyle Rayner. Where's the new comic set? Uh, it's a comic book shop. Not a sex shop. That's next door. Next door? That's all you had to say. Come on, Sketch. All right. Later, Twitch. I'm going to holler at you later. k -more, did you finish the milk? I told you I was saving the rest of it for cereal. I know, Sketchy, but I had some cookies early. I can't eat my cookies without milk. You know that. Why don't you just put some water in it? It tastes about the same. Why didn't you use water with the cookies then? It tastes just the same. Water with cookies? That just sounds like an abomination. Don't you ever think before saying stuff? Man, yeah, whatever. Go buy some more milk, K-more. I want to add some cereal. I can't right now, Sketch. I'm watching Mama June's Road to Redemption. This show just gets crazy and crazy every time. Like, why can't Mama June just be good mothers to these girls? Makes me sad. Okay, that's how it's going to be. I got you, K-more. You think it's a game, huh? La 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 la. Watch my balls once a day to keep the germs away. <laughs> I love myself. 
Oh, oh my God, my hair! What happened to my hair? It's gone! I look like a black Mr. Clean! <laughs> Funny, right? I put an air in your shampoo this morning. What? Why would you do this, Sketchy? This is crossing the line. You know I love my hair. My hair is my trademark. It's my image. I'm nothing without my hair. Okay, more you wear a bandana every day. Sometimes I be forgetting you even have damn hair. And that's what you get for using all my milk yesterday. I had to eat my cereal dry. You better sleep with your eyes open, Sketchy. Because I'm going to cut the dreads off as soon as I catch your ass slacking. I'll kill you before you touch my hair, K-More. I promise you that. Hopefully now you'll leave my milk alone. Because if not, next time I'm going to have a doctor give your ass a vasectomy in your sleep. I wish you would try Sketchy. Can y'all two suck up? Oh my God. I'm trying to eat in peace out here. Y'all argue more than a married couple. You two need some counseling or something. Hell. Bitches, he switched my shampoo with Nair. I'm bald. Don't look at me, I'm hideous. I'm going to be honest, Kai boy. I didn't even know your bandana came off. I ain't never seen you without it. Anyways, I'm going to go back in the hallway and eat. Can you keep it down, please? Damn. Man, forget this. I'm going out. Where you going, Sketchy? I don't know yet. But whatever is better than here. Bye, Bruce Willis. <laughs> I'm on that ass. On that ass. Watch this. Uh, dunked on your ass. Uh, you know I got claws, right? I can't even properly hold the controls right. Excuses? I ain't trying to hear all that. You just suck. Plain and simple. It, it's cool. Came to visit me, Sketchy. But it's 10 at night. Shouldn't you be taking your ass home or something? Man, hell no. Came up and getting on my last nerves lately. Can't stand this ass. Hmm. Seems like the two of you need to switch brains. Get a different perspective on one another. Uh. What you talking about, Twitch? Okay, okay, okay. Check it out. Do you remember when I said I was building a time machine to save JFK? Why am I asking? Of course you do. Anyways, I shaved the idea for now. So, I started my next best experiment. Brain switching. Yeah, you see. I opened up your scab there, scoop up in your brain, and put it inside K-more. Vice versa, so that way you two can literally walk in each other's shoes. We don't wear shoes. The analogy still works, Sketchy. If you two can see how knowing you are in each other's eyes, maybe it'll give you a different respect for another. You see? I'm like Jerry Springer mixed with some MacGyver. I don't know, Twitch. You ever done something like this? I switched my brain with a shrimp one time, but it wasn't appealing. You know what? I'm going to have to say hell no. The last thing I need is K-more stupid brain in my body. I'm clearly talking to the wrong one. Uh, have you ever done an operation like this before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of times. Just last week, I put my brain in the shrimp. It was awesome. <laughs> Damn. Let's do it, Twitch. How are you going to make sure he doesn't wake up doing the surgery? Easy. Watch this. <laughs> well, damn. You got any sleeping pills for me? Uh, uh, of course. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Do I got everything? Scalpel? Check. Stitches? Check. Ah, man. I forgot to scoop at home. Oh, well, I can just use their ice cream scoop or something. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, my God. She's going to eat me. I always knew this day would come. Cable, what's wrong with you? Kaymore, what? It's sketchy. Why are you in my bed? Wait, why am I in Kaymore's room? Oh, no. Oh no! I'm in K-Moore's body! Twitch! Morning. Hey, I'm cooking up some fire-ass fluffy pancakes. You want some? Man, why am I in K-Moore's body? You making blueberry by, by any chance? I, I, I mean, why am I in K-Moore's body? I told you not to do it. I told him to do it. I like some pancakes, Twitch. Thank you. <laughs> this is like the movie Freaky Friday or something. Why the hell you do this, K-Moore? Because Twitch made some good points. We argue too much, Sketchy. Maybe if we got to be in each other's bodies for a while, we can have a different perspective on each other. It can save our relationship. Yeah, no. Twitch, I need you to reverse this shit right now. I'm busy right now, Sketchy. Tell you what, why don't you give it a day, give it one day, and I'll switch y'all back. Please, Sketchy, just give it a chance. All right, fine. How hard can it be being K-more? All I got to do is teach a class and bum out a couch with a roach. Easy. If I'm being sketchy, all I got to do is start being a grumpy grinch. Grr, I hate everyone. You two are going to have a very fun day. I can tell already. All right. Well, I got to go. I'm supposed to be running a marathon. 
Hey, do you guys know anyone with Adderall? I'm feeling a little sleepy here. No? All right. Guess I'll just stop by Starbucks for some coffee or something. Might spoil myself and get a cake pop too. Wait for sale. I got that Lyle. I got this train that killed John Wayne. <laughs> Three for four. Everything for low. Everything must go. <laughs> Man, this is easy. Hey, yo, sketchy. Let me get a dub. I need something for my cataracts. Say no more, fine customer. I got exactly what you need right here. Here you go. That's the dub, bubblegum rainbow. Guaranteed to knock you off your ass. <laughs> Bet. Thanks, sketchy dog. I'm going to fuck with you. All right, I'm going to fuck with you too. <laughs> this is easy. I don't know why Sketchy complains all day. I need to drop more business though. Hmm, how can I get everyone's attention? I got the perfect idea. Came on your jeans. <laughs> Come and get some weed. Some cream stuff here. I got it all. <laughs> for the next edition of the album, I'll run to my nigga deal. Get you an extra ounce for a price of one. Y'all can't beat that. Evening officers, how could I help you with some weed? I got the best in town. <laughs> Sir, are you aware that selling weed is illegal? No, it's not. Officer, you crazy. <laughs> yes, it is, son. No, it's not. Boy, yes, it is. I'll arrest your ass right now. But officer, I thought it was legalized. Now in the town of Bikini Bottom, now in my goddamn watch, it'd be a cold day in hell before I let my city get overruled by the luscious plant of marijuana. Put your hands up. Whoa, wait a minute, officer. Uh, there's got to be something I could do for you. Just let me go. I can't go to jail. I'm too pretty to go to jail. Well, not in this body. In my other body, I'm very pretty. Well, I guess there is something that you could do that can change my mind. I mean, I don't usually find other men attractive. I don't usually roll that way. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I guess a fish got to do what a fish got to do not to get sent to jail. Come on. Boy, get your mind out of the gutter. I want a bribe. Some money. Oh, a bribe. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? Thank God. How much we talking here? 10, 20? <laughs> Throw me a number. I think $500 should do it. $500? Are you high? I mean, uh, $500, officer. That's kind of sound like a lot. It's either you give me that money, I'm hauling your ass to jail, where they'll steal your pudding. N not my pudding. Hold you down while they take turns stripping you from your manhood. My manhood? And the only way out of that hell is suicide. Oh, uh, do you accept checks? <laughs> Okay, let's get started. Um, let me think here. <clears throat> um, um, well, uh, why don't we start off you all telling me what's wrong with y'all marriage first? Yeah, that's a good start. How about you? Well, you see, I work my ass off in numerous jobs to support my family. Hell, I even had to miss my ship at the grocery store just to be here. My wife complains. I work too much and never have time for her. But you don't be complaining when them checks come in, though, don't you? To ugly ass. Well, in that case, you gotta put your bitch in line. Let her know you the man and you chasing the bag. If she don't want you to work so much, tell her ass to get a job. All right, who's next? I have a problem cheating on my wife. Sure, I find her attractive, but doing something I'm not supposed to be doing just excites me. It's giving me a rush. <sighs> I've cheated on my wife with her sister, her mother, her boss, our neighbor, our kid's teacher, the male lady. I just paid for a hooker 10 minutes before this class. You ain't shit. Next. My husband doesn't support my line of work. Okay, this sounds like a good topic. What do you do? I'm on OnlyFans <laughs> and I'm an escort, but he doesn't know about the escort part. Ain't nothing wrong with the OnlyFans thing. Female be making bank off OnlyFans, but you a hoe for the escort part. So, uh, you're an escort, huh? What service does that come with? For the price, I'm charging. Anything you want, big boy. Hey, enough of that, nasty asses. Wait a minute, I ain't even married. Why am I here? Shut up. This teaching thing is easy. Maybe I should have been a teacher. Let me take a hit of this real quick. I think I deserve this. What part of this has to do with a happy marriage? Well, you see, to the untrained eye, I'm just smoking this blunt right here. But to the eye that has the brains, I'm making a point about marriage. For you see, marriage is a lot like a blunt. First, you have the blunt, then on the inside, you have the sweet collard greens that turns everything fun. I don't understand. If I wanted to see a man smoke a blunt, I would have taken the blunt smoking class. Well, that's all we got time for today. Get y'all asses out of here. 
You don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> and no refunds. Damn, I had a stressful ass day. I had to write a check of $500 for this talk. And he made me ride to the bank with him to make sure the check didn't bounce. After that, I got ran up on by two ugly ass niggas. Did you have your strap? Oh yeah, best believe I was strapped up. Shot them both dead. <laughs> then I had to drive out the middle of nowhere to bury these bodies. But even then, this dude on the dog saw me do it, so I had to chase him down and silence him. I'm tired. How was your day? I taught a class on marriage, and I think I did pretty well. But after that, I had another class to teach about how to give your horse surgery. Then after that, a class of CPR. It was hard trying to teach something I know nothing about. Did you use the teacher manual? The what now? The teacher manual, sketchy. Ain't no way no damn teacher just automatically knows stuff. We got these manuals we read out that have answers. That would have been very helpful. Oh well, at least this day almost over. Twitch comes tomorrow and switches back. Yup. <laughs> Thank God. I miss my body. You are uncircumcised. It's weird to pay with. Kaibo Cabal, let's go to bed. I'm coming, biscuits. <laughs> All right. Good night, sketchy. Remember. If the bed's rocking, don't come knocking. <laughs> Wait, K Moore, are you gonna have sex with biscuits in my body? Uh, yeah. With Mary Skits, we have sex, duh. You can't wait till tomorrow when you're back in your own body? No. Me and my woman got knees, Skitty. <laughs> you crazy. I'd be lying if I said that was weird. We definitely had weird on this show happen before. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, how, how was it? Did you guys learn anything new about each other? Cause when I switched bodies with a shrimp, I learned some shrimps can actually eat fish. Although most of them just stick to plant diets. Well, I learned k -Mor likes the taste of Vaseline on toast. Sounds weird, but in k body, it tastes good. I learned that sketchy body is not built for big women. It's like I had sex with biscuits for the first time again. Oh, my back hurts. Good enough. I actually forget the main reason why we even did this for. Uh, but, Anyways, are you ready to get the switch back? Yes! Please hurry! Alright, you guys know the drill. Heads down so I can knock you out with the hammer. How do y'all feel? Did I do everything right? I was kind of watching Mama June's Rose to Redemption while I was doing the procedure. Why can't Mama June just be a good mother to those girls? Breaks my heart. I feel great, Twitch! <laughs> I'm so glad things are back to the way they were. My back! Oh, it hurts so much! Oh my god! Kmore, what did you guys do? It's called making love, Sketchy. Damn. Sketchy? You know what? I actually like the waves you put in my head. <laughs> it looked real good. I may keep it like that. Got me looking like a black slim shady. <laughs> Man, whatever. You welcome. Hey, who's there at the door? Go answer it. My back's still in pain from you making my body sleep with biscuits. <laughs> of course, buddy. You have a seat. I got this. I need to uh, speak with uh, Kmore. Oh, uh, that's me. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry. My name is Ludwig, and I am a porn director. Bangfish.com. Oh, damn. I know who you are. I watch all your films. My favorite one is the bad babysitter DP by the neighbor's gardener. <laughs> that one was a classic. Oh, yes. That one was the honor of the apartment that my cameraman called in sick that day. And I had to be the one to film the movie. If you want something done right, you must do it yourself. Oh, we, we? Yeah, that's how it's done, all right. But what can I do for you? Louise? What brings you here? Well, a senior director from Bangfish recently retired, and they need a replacement. I recently saw the movie you directed, Fish Mouth, and I was particularly intrigued with the sex scene inside the trailer park. I've never seen so much passion in one scene. <laughs> well, oh, thank you. I really want to catch the intense relationship between Billy Bob and Tramparella. I actually had them have sex without a rubber. I wanted to make it as realistic as possible. <laughs> Her husband was not really happy about this thing. Oh well, it was a great ass movie. I'd like to offer you a job as the director for Bankfish. <gasps> what? Really? Me? A porn director? Um, I don't know. I think I have to ask my wife about that. Oh my god. Biscuit, I've just been offered to be a porn director. Would it be okay if I took the job? Oh, uh, yeah. If you buy me some poor Tilo's chocolate cake tonight. Uh, sure, baby. I got you. I'm in, Louise. I love to start directing porn. <laughs> Always been a low-key dream of mine. Excellent. Be sure to get at the studio tomorrow early. Will do. <laughs> Damn, I'm excited. Uh, wow. 
you guys just keep having eventful days. That's awesome. Yeah, well, you can leave, Twitch. We don't need you in this episode. But, but, I thought I could be in this one and add on to the chemistry on the show. Be more involved. Uh, nah. You can just remain the side character. We'll call you when we need you again. Man, all right. I guess I'll just be going home then. I'm excited for my first day. I always wanted to direct porn. It's like a work of art. I want to put so much passion in this scene that you forget that you actually watch porn. Come on, let me show you to the set. And this is the set. That is the matches on the floor, two porn stars in their robes. Make art, baby. All right, you two. Take them robes off. Let me see what you're working with here. Oh, God. You need a trim. <laughs> Come over here. Let me give you a lineup. Give your ass a fade. Come in! I can't get the door right now. Clarence, I'm um, Clarence, what do you want? I don't have the patience to be dealing with annoying things right now. My back is in a lot of pain. What happened, brother? Well, I know it's gonna sound crazy, but my friend made me and Kmo switch bodies. And long story short, Kmo still wanted to have sex with his wife, and you know she weighed about 700 tons. And yeah, you can imagine what happened. I got crushed. No amount of weed can help this pain go away. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that, brother. Is there anything that I can do to make you feel better? You know what? There is actually something you could do. I'm supposed to go meet my parole officer later today for a drop, a drug test. My back's definitely in too much pain. I'm definitely not going to pass that drug test. So we are twins. You could go in as me and pass it. Yeah, that'll work. Sketchy, you a genius. Um. I don't know about that. Clarence, that would be lying and breaking the law. You know I'm not the type to lie or break the law. Come on, man. After everything I do for you, you can't just do to me this favor. Do you remember that one time Bill Thompson was bullying you and stole your milk? I kicked his ass for you. Remember that? Oh, yes. Yes, you did. But then also you drank the milk instead of giving it back to me. It doesn't matter who what happened to the milk. The point is, I helped you when you needed me. Fine, Clarence. If it would make you happy. I'll do it. But this makes us even. Oh, man. Thank you, Lawrence. Why don't you go upstairs and grab some of my clothes? You got to dress the part. <sighs> okay. Cut! Stop! Pull out of her real quick, Stephanie. Let me talk to you. Stephanie, you're fucking her like she's a cheap slut. You're supposed to bring the passion. Passion! She's not just a piece of meat. You have to caress her, stroke her hair, gently smack her ass. Take your time, boy. This ain't no race. <laughs> Go drink some Gatorade and get your ass back in there. <laughs> Baby, how's your first day going? Oh, biscuits. It's real stressful. These people don't treat porn like an art. They just treat it like a job. Hit it and done. Porn needs to have more passion in it. Well, if not passion, it would just be two random people having sex. But who wanna watch that? <laughs> I don't know about this, sweetheart. You might be stretching yourself out too much. Try not to go overboard. I'll try, baby. Did you bring me food? I did actually bring you lunch, but I got whole girl to drive here, so I ate your lunch. So I'll stop at Wheaties to get you a fo fo fo, but I ate that all the way here, so. Yeah, no, nah, baby, I ain't got no food for y'all, sorry. It's okay, baby. I think they got a venom machine here somewhere. Damn, this can actually fool anyone. Except for the glasses, get rid of them and fix your hair. The sketch doll don't have no damn nerd haircut. I can't. I need my glasses to see. Clarence, I have very poor vision. Yada, yada, yada. Either you diss them or you're going to get busted and sent to jail. And trust me, Clarence, you wouldn't last five minutes in jail. They turn your ass out faster than the belly buttons on Thanksgiving. <laughs> get it? Because you eat a lot. Belly get big. Yeah. All right, fine. Here, hold on to them for me. Don't lose them, Clarence. They're my only pair. Don't worry. I got them. Damn. Now go, go, to, go, go do my damn drug test. Bye. Cut! 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 You're doing it all wrong again, Stephen. You gotta perk your leg up on the chair and move with the hips. It's all in the hips. And make sure you tilt your body so the camera can get a better view of her ass. Anybody want to look at a nigga's ass? Think with your brain. Damn. Everybody take five. 
Get more. You're doing such a great job. You have to guide these actors sometimes. It doesn't hurt to hit them once in a while. Oof, this is stressful. It's easier directing a full feature film than directing a 20 minute pornography. Do whatever you want, my friend. As long as you make a billion film, bring me perfection. What do you do? Stephen, get over here. Porn actors, I never got your name, I'm sorry. Get over here too. We're gonna make the damn best porn this world has ever seen. Start from the top. Empty your pockets and take this cup. I'm okay. Where's the bathroom at? There is no bathroom. You have to urinate in front of me so I know you don't spike it. Um, oh, um, okay. Um, I, I'm a little bit sh shy. I can't pee in front of people. Maybe if you turned around, I, I could go. You can either pee in the cup, I can take your ass back to jail, Clarence Butterscotch. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, well, when you put it that way, um, okay, think about something. I'll sing to my wiener. It's party time. Time to get down low. It's party time. Just go with the flow. It's party time. You can do it, I know. Ah, that's it, little buddy. Here you go. That's all right. I can go home now. Yes, just one more thing. Your cavity check. What? Yeah, your cavity check. It's a part of the check, you know that. Now drop them pants and turn around and bend over. Oh, oh, oh um, uh, uh, okay. Oh my god. I hope you like it, Louise. <laughs> Spent the whole day on this. I put my heart and soul into it. Yes, I'm very excited. Start the film. Someone order a big sausage pizza? I did, but I don't have any money. A few inches later. Damn! I didn't think it was gonna be that long. So, how did you like it? <laughs> I just spent seven hours watching a porno with no fucking sex. There was no sex in the film. How can this be called a porno? I knew I forgot some. <laughs> Whoops. Oh yeah, basically I made the most beautiful pornos ever made. Just forgot to add the sex part. <laughs> well, you live and you learn. Damn, that's crazy. I just spent my day rewatching Friday movies. You know what I just noticed about it, K more? What? You know the whole conflict of this movie is that Smokey old big worm money for weed he smoked. Which became also Craig's problem too. Oh uh, yeah, that was the whole movie. Didn't Craig get paid that day? Remember in the beginning when he said he went to work and they fired him? Gave him his last check? Craig had the money to pay Big Worm. He could have just went to the bank to withdraw it. Damn! I ain't never pay attention to this, sketch. Yeah! And I watched the movie religiously and I barely noticed it. It's crazy! Clarence! How did it go? Did I pass? Um, yes. Yes, you passed, Clarence. This is the last time I'm ever doing a favor for you. Can I have my glasses back, please? Uh... Damn! I don't know if I got them. My bad, Larence. I must have misplaced them. I could have sworn I had them in my pocket. Ah, uh, dang, Nappit Clarence. I told you not to lose them. I'm just going home. I don't know why I trusted you. Hey, pretty boy. You need a lift? Oh, God, how nice of you. Yes, I would. All right, get your little sweet behind in this little van here. You don't mind the stickiness. That's just soda. You got a pretty mouth there, boy. Uh, K-more? Wasn't that the bang bus? Yeah. <laughs> Man, your brother got to be the nicest guy I ever met. But I must admit, it is hilarious to see him get the short end of the stick all the damn time. <laughs> but I sketchy. Before I left the buying fish headquarters, I stole this big ass bottle of Don Julio. You want to get litty? <laughs> Hell yeah, my boy. Let's do it. Why are you dressed like this, Sketchy? <laughs> oh, snap! 
Where are you twinning? <laughs> Man, I can't find my phone. Where are we? I can't remember anything from yesterday. I don't remember getting lit off that damn Don Julio. <laughs> oh, it hurts the layer. <laughs> but it also hurts not the layer. I don't know what we got into last night. But let's get out of here and go home. The best cure to hangovers is a strong bag of weed. And lucky for us, I got some Zaza waiting on us at the house. Let's go. Right behind you, buddy. Oh, uh, sketchy? Yeah, okay, more. I don't think we in Bikini Bottom anymore. Uh, hey, dog face. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would you? Attention! Are you maggots barely waking up? Oh, ma'am, do you mind not yelling so much? My head is killing me, and I gotta say, your tone isn't very nice. <laughs> are you delusional, maggot? Drop and give me 50 now! Oh, uh, I usually don't carry cash on me, but I do got a $15 gift card from Chick-fil-A. I was saving it for Bixby's birthday present, but I think she gonna need more than $15. Push-ups, you idiot! I want you to get on your belly and give me 50 push-ups now! Hey, you ain't gotta be in my guy's face like that. Thank you, Skitch. Shut the hell up, k -more. Look, uh... I don't know where we are or even how we got here. Me and my guy k had a little too much to drink last night, and we woke up here. Now, if you could just point us in the exit, we'll be happy to get out of your hair. You boys have enlisted in the army. Officially government property. No exit. So now, drop and give me a hundred. The, the army? We join the army? Aw, oh, shit. Oh, damn. That Don Julio is dangerous. <laughs> If that sergeant gained another 300 pounds, she will look pretty good, don't you think? <laughs> Nuh-uh. Shut up, K-Moore. I'm just saying. She got pretty eyes, but without belly rolls. She just ain't my type. I need a woman I can cook for. I can't believe you. Shut up. Damn. This all your fault. My fault? How? It's because of you and that damn dumb Julio bottle. Ain't nobody forced you to drink, Sketchy. Did I point a gun in your head and say drink? Man, whatever. Just shut up. You shut up. K-Moore and Sketchy, we're ready for you. K-Moore. I'ma really need you to keep your mouth closed. Let me do all the talking, and I can weasel us out of this. Ah, shit, not you again. Yes, it's me again. It's Clarence Butterscotch, I'm assuming. Whew, your parents must have hated you since birth. And you, what's your birth name? All you wrote was K-more. Well, that's the name on my birth certificate. <laughs> what can I do for you two idiots? Well, um, like I was telling you earlier, me and k -more got a little wasted last night and must have walked in, into the enlisting office on accident. We'd like to resign or whatever it's called. We want to go home. We don't belong here. Besides, I'm a convicted felon. I thought y'all don't accept felons. You're right to an extent. You definitely don't meet our moral character standards. However, if our unit agrees to waive the enlistment standards, we can recruit all the felons we want, as long as you meet the mental and physical requirements. <laughs> Damn! If that don't put the fear in God in you, I don't know what will. By the way, how much does it pay? It pays shit. You'll lay down on the front line for your country, but you'll go bankrupt by your early 30s. So pretty much what you're telling us is that we screwed. Yeah, basically. Mr. Butterscotch, if you will, grab the 9mm in front of you and shoot the target. Look, shorty, I already know how to shoot. I was born with a Glock in my hand. I can shoot a nigga from a distance so far of two miles driving at 40 miles per hour right through his windshield and between his eyes. You heard of that nigga dead shot from DC Comics? I make his ass look like no shot. Quit playing with me. Will you shut the hell up and shoot? Bloody hell! Nothing but headshots. Excellent work. Wish you'd shut up and follow orders more. Kemo, your turn. Pick up the weapon. Oh, can I hold it sideways? It looks badass. That's not the proper way to hold a firearm. But go ahead. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> okay. Fire. Fire. Boom. Boom. Take that still, Dad. <laughs> Whenever you're firing at an enemy, you're meant to execute or immobilize. Well, some shots to his dick is definitely going to immobilize the hell out of him. <laughs> Good point. I'm not finding any legal way that we can weasel out of here, Sketchy. We can go AWOL, but they'll just open up an investigation to come get us. They ain't sent us to jail. Why should we leave? They feed us, clothe us, give us kick-ass guns, and our own person to jail? 
and they pay us for this shit? Come on, K-Moy, you gotta admit, this ain't all too bad. Plus, the sergeant got a little crush on me. I can tell by the way she be looking at me. <laughs> we can't stay here sketchy. We belong in Bikini Bottom, swerving and curving. Relax, k -Moy. I don't see why we can't just stick around for a while. It ain't too bad. Come in. Well, was declared. Pack your belongings. You both ship up tomorrow, maggots. Uh, what other ways did you find that can help us leave? Well, I did find this one trick. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth a try. Let's do it. So I like to say, Sarge, me and Sketcher are gay. What? Yes, we are both gay. And as you know, in 1982, the military enacted a policy of splitting banning gay men and lesbians from serving. I'm sorry, but I can't control my urges. I was born who I was. <laughs> Kamal, it's 2022. The military has left their prejudice in the past. And as a matter of fact, that ban was lifted in 2011. Oh, damn! Fucking idiot! It was a nice try, boys, but you're not gonna weasel out of this. What are you doing? I'm getting the hell out of here. If that means being a wanted man, so be it. There is one more thing that we can do to get us this toy. What's that? We'll just have to take a bullet. Take a bullet? What you mean by that? If we can get shot in active duty, they will send us home. We'll just be useless to them. <laughs> but it can't be no pistol whip type thing. It has to be a straight shot, and it has to be a bad bullet wound. By the readings I've done, being shot in the leg will do the trick. <laughs> well, damn. A bullet wound sounds better than serving. You ever been shot before? Never. But I'll do whatever I can to get home to my baby biscuits. So I'll do whatever I have to. Let's do this. I'm going to do it, Sketchy. I'm going to do it. Oh, damn. I can't do it. I'm too scared, Sketchy. Can you? Ah! Damn, Sketchy. Shit. You could have let me know you was going to shoot me, you asshole. And it's better if I do it without warning. Catch you by surprise. Trust me. It's going to hurt you a lot more once the adrenaline comes down. What a relief! I can't wait to get back home. How you feeling, Sketchy? I feel fine. I'm gonna miss that hot tub, though. Wait a minute. Hey, Sketchy, you never shot yourself? Nope. Well, why did they let you go? Cuz I told them I got shot and they believed me. You stupid. Who wants to get shot at? <laughs> you funny sometimes, k -more. Sketchy, I hate your ass. So let me get this straight. You two got so blacked out drunk, you both enlisted in the army? Yep. And you shot yourself in the leg so you could be discharged. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm the one who shot him. Why aren't you shot, Sketchy? I just told them I got shot. They didn't even check my leg or nothing. They just took my word for it and sent me home. Suckers. <laughs> Why did you guys just say you weren't vaccinated? Say what now? Yeah. The all because of white soldiers who refused to get the COVID-19 vaccination. You didn't know that? Well, I mean, come on. The only internet assets I had based on was 2004 Dell computer. This thing had more dust on it than Zane's music career. No offense, Zane. I just love you more when you was in one direction. Hey, kids in the building. <laughs> Let me take a look at your chart here. Hmm, shot yourself, yada, yada, yada. Oh, damn, your dumb ass got shot on duty, huh? <laughs> it happens. All right, let's cut this leg off. Think of nice thoughts, K-Moy. This is only gonna hurt a lot. Wait, doctor, he doesn't need an amputee. I think he'll heal fine if he keeps his leg in a cast. Oh, you always kill my fun. Fine, get that boy cast. I gotta go to my next job anyways. I'm Nick Cannon's tax consultant. That nigga just announced he's having his 12th kid. He the real cheap about a dozen. <laughs> Boy, I ain't never heard of a rubber. I'm gonna get his kids written off his dependents. Oh my God, do you know who you sound like? Yes, yes, I've been trying to tell y'all. What did I say? You sound just like Dad Costanella. You mean the guy that voices his homework? Yes, exactly. I can see it, I definitely can. What, no, he sounds like k -Moy. Nah, I don't see it, sketchy. Yeah, you tripping. Man, I hate y'all. 
Oh, hey, guys. What a surprise to see you here. Hi, Marlon. How you doing? You still live across the street? <laughs> yeah, I still live across the street. Oh, wow. What happened to you, Kmore? You got an ouchie? Yeah, I got shot. It happens. It definitely does. I remember I got shot in my penis one time. Took a lot of surgery and a lot of money to reattach it. <laughs> now when I pee, it comes out of three holes. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. This nigga ain't been here for two minutes and I'm already freaked out. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I left my pot roast on the oven back home. Uh, bye, baby. I I'll see you later. It's good to see you, Marlon. It's been a while. What are you doing in the hospital? I don't know. There was nothing good on TV. Besides, Marlock loves looking at dead bodies down in the morgue. Love seeing them. Hey, what up, Marlock? Fuck you. I. Well, it was a blast seeing you two again, but I have to run to the hardware store for some supplies. I got a busy night ahead of me. <laughs> Bye, Marlin. Bye, Marlin. I love seeing Marlin. He's a great guy. Yeah, when you're not being weird. How long we gotta wait till they let you go back home? Hmm, I don't know, Skit. I've never been shot before. Man, being shot sucks. I don't know how Meg the Stallion makes it look easy. Are you slandering Meg the Stallion right now? You sure you want that statistic? I retract my statement. I don't need toxic fans knocking at my door. <laughs> All right, K-More. You should be set. I brought you the extra TV up here. You got your window to look out of for whatever reason. So yeah, I'm gonna head out. Wait, Skitchy? You gonna leave me here? Hell yeah. I got shit to do today. But I'm lonely, Sketchy. Where's Biscuits? Tell her to spend some time with you. She went to go cater for her mom. She had a fifth heart attack. The doctor told her to lay off the sweets. But that woman is hard-headed. She weighs twice the size as Biscuits. Damn, that's some scary stuff. Well, hang out with Larry or something. Larry went fishing with his kids. Larry got kids? Yeah, he got thousands of them. <laughs> Wait, fishing? What do I do when I hook a fish, Daddy? You bring him in and stab him, gut him. Yeah, like that. Son will be killing all the fishes in the sea. Well, I don't know what to tell you, K-More. I gotta go to work. These bowls ain't gonna tow themselves. Later. Man, it sucks. The worst part about it is I'm supposed to teach a soccer class today. But I had to cancel and give everybody their refunds. I hate giving people refunds. Hey, Marlin. I'll see you. Well, slap me silly and call me Billy. Hi, Kmore. How's the weather up there? It feels great. How's the weather down there? It's warm down here, but that's probably because I peed myself when you yelled my name. Gave me a little fright. <laughs> what you got there, Marlin? What's in them bags? Oh, these? Just some tools I needed to buy. I got myself here a hacksaw, a pair of pliers, a meat cleaver, some soundproof blankets, chloroform, plastic tarps, gloves, and a diet 7-Up. Oh, damn. That's a really weird shopping list. Die 7-Up tastes like ass, Marlin. I don't know anyone who drinks that. Well, it's been a blast talking to you, Kmar, but I really need to get inside my house. I have a busy night ahead of me. <laughs> Very busy, so don't bother us. <laughs> okay, Marlin and Marlock. Y'all have a good night. Ha, ah, what an odd couple. <laughs> Silly Tom, you never gonna catch Jerry. He's too smart for you. I do like your enthusiasm, though. Uh-oh! Sketchy! Hey, Sketchy, come here real quick! Man, what? The TV said we haven't paid our bill. What happened? Shit, it sounds exactly like what it says. You in charge of that. That's your bill you're supposed to pay. Yeah, you right. That is my bill. I remember. Instead of paying the cable bill, I bought these ventures off parks. <laughs> Definitely worth the money. Yeah, I myself don't like using internet or cable. It's a distraction for people. Maybe instead of burying your face in the screen, K-More, won't you just enjoy the beauty of life? Are you high right now, Sketchy? I'm fucking blasted, K-More. Yes. But it sounds boring. I want to watch Tom and Jerry. This is so unfair. Whatever. You killing my high. I'm going to walk out of this conversation. <laughs> Get it? Because you can't walk? <laughs> Man, this sucks. What am I supposed to do? Oh, binoculars. I remember when I used to use this to spy on Miss Porter changing. <laughs> Good times. Let's see what I can see around here. Okay. There's SpongeBob and Patrick jellyfishing like the virgins they are. <laughs> Grown man still jellyfishing. I stopped doing that after I got my first pube. What's this? Is this star Quisha on the corner selling her ass again? Damn. You go, girl. Make your money. <laughs> okay. I see Tug Weezy. What is he doing? He ain't working on his final season, I'll tell you what. Oh, Marlon! Looks like he got a girl over. 
Okay, Marlin, I see you. About to lay some of that fin down, ain't you, boy? <laughs> Ooh, is that an all-you-can-eat buffet? Look at the rose on that girl. Damn! Later that night. <laughs> what the? What was that? Oh my god, Sketchy! Sketchy, get in here! Uh, K-Mor, what is three in the damn morning? Marlin, he killed somebody! I think we need to call the police! The police? I would have slapped the black off of you. We don't call the police, that's some snitch shit. Start over. What are you talking about, K-Mor? Okay, so earlier, I saw Marlin from the window, and he was bringing in these bags in. He had bought some weird stuff like a hacksaw and chloroform or Dye 7-Up, which just really blew my mind, because, I mean, who the hell drink Dye 7-Up? You got to have no taste bud to drink that. K-Mor, continue with what you were saying. Okay. And then earlier, I saw him bringing a girl back to his place, and then I thought he was going to smash like any nigga would think. But then, that confused me, because I'm not 100% sure what his preference is. I thought him and Marlock had a relationship. It's complicated. But anyways, a woman scream woke me up. So I look outside the window with these binoculars, and I saw Marla's face covered in blood. I think he killed her. k you tripping. There's got to be a logical explanation for all this. Besides, you said you seen Marlon's face with blood, right? Yeah. Well, Marlon isn't a killer. Marlock's a killer. Marlon wouldn't hurt a fly. Yeah, I guess you're right, Skitchy. Maybe I'm just making up scenarios. All right, now go to bed. If you wake me up again, I'm going to push your ass down the stairs. Go to bed. Sketchy! Sketchy! Get back in here! Look at this! What now, k more Damn! Look at what Maul is doing! Here! Oh, damn. That's weird. There's got to be an explanation for this. Let me go talk to him. Be careful, Sketchy! Hey, what's up, Marlin? What you doing there? Oh, uh, hi, Sketchy. Sketch dog. How's it going? It's a nice day outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, hey, so, I know that you're digging a hole out here with these mysterious bags. What's up with that? What, these? I just planted some seeds for, a uh, a garden. A garden, huh? What kind of flowers are you planting that's in these big garbage bags? Uh... Would you believe me if I said I was planting a tree? I might. That's what I'm doing. I'm planting a tree. <laughs> hmm. Okay, one more question. So k mentioned he saw you bring a girl home last night. Where is she at? I heard she was a baddie. Oh, her. Um, Marlock has this obsession with prostitutes. So, she was a prostitute. Didn't even give me her real name, so you can't look her up or anything. <laughs> well, alright. This has been a very suspicious conversation. I'll talk to you later, Marla. Well, what happened? What he say? Yeah, that nigga definitely killing people. Damn, you think you know someone. What are we gonna do? So we call the cops? Hell no. As long as he ain't killing us, I don't care what goes on with that man house in his spare time. It ain't my problem. I'm gonna go smoke my bowl. Deuces. I'm watching you, Marlon. You think you got me fooled, but you don't. I'm gonna be on your ass like Garfield is with lasagna. Sketchy! Sketchy, get in here! Marlon said it again! He gonna kill this dude! Damn, he on the road! Let me see! He's like reality TV! Hey yo, what the? That's my dude I sell my bud to! He be paying my bills! Now you see, that's anything with the sketch dog business. That's a no-go for me. This means war. Are you gonna save him? Hell yeah! Come on in. I got chocolate frosty milkshakes inside. I bet. I'm a sucker for some chocolate frosty milkshakes. I'd die for them. Oh, I bet you would. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Nah, he already in Marlon's house. He's a dead man walking. The bogey has left the perimeter. You're free to move, cotton balls. Over. I told you my nickname ain't Cotton Balls. Call me Red Badass. Hello? k more. You have to end the transmission, Sketchy. You have to say over every time you're done talking so I know you're finished with the conversation. Over. You stupid, k more. I don't know why we ain't using our phones anyway. Walking talkers are out of date. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. Are you done with your statement? Over. I'm hanging up. Bye. Man, this dude crazy. Should have shot his ass in the head. Hello? Over. You there? Over. Over. Over, over. 
man. Wow, this place is like a mansion. Couldn't tell how it looked from the outside. What's this? A chocolate frosting machine? Man, that's wild. You see anything sketchy? Yeah, he got some cool shit in here. I think I may rob him. Stay focused, Sketchy. Find the evidence we need. I'm not seeing anything here, k -Moy. Man, I shouldn't even be in here. I'm on parole. If I get caught breaking into this man's house, I'm going back to jail. Just five more minutes, Sketchy. Please. All right, fine. Let me keep looking. Oh, damn. Hey, k -Moy, there's a dead one in here. Great. I mean, not great. It's terrible. Rest in peace. But great job finding. I can call the police now. Wait. Sketchy. Get out. Marlon's coming back. Oh, damn. He don't got no back door. Man, what kind of house don't got no back door? Some lazy architectural shit if you ask me. Oh, no, Sketchy. I'm coming. Damn. I can't get down these stairs fast enough. I know what to do. Ah! Fuck. Damn. That was a bad idea. Block out the pain, Kaymore. You gotta save Sketchy. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. That's enough right there. You can drop the eggs, Marlin. I got your ass. Sketchy, hey, hi, how are you? Are you robbing me? I only ask you don't steal my mom's ashes. I play with them when I'm bored. Nah, 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 nah. I'm here stopping you from killing niggas. You were cool with killing random bitches, but now you killing my clientele. I ain't rocking with that. Killing? What on gosh green earth are you talking about? Sketchy, don't worry. I'll save you. k -more, what are you doing? I'm here to save you. Duh. Come on, man. I'm the sketch dog. I don't need saving. Niggas need saving from me. Well, damn. I guess I underestimated you. Oh, well. Anyways, start talking, Marlon. Why are you killing innocent people? I never killed a thing. <laughs> I would never hurt anyone. You must have me confused, doodly doo. But I saw you bringing in all this stuff. Tools to kill. A hatchet, a meat cleaver, tarp, chloroform, and for some reason, die seven up. That's easy. I'm building a swimming pool in my living room. See? Well, damn. I didn't even see that. What about the chloroform? I have night terrors, k -more. and I need it to help me sleep. Duh. And what about the digging you was doing yesterday in them garbage bags? I told you, I was planting a tree. Come on, you expect me to believe that? Damn, that grew fast as hell. What about the dead body that's in the hallway? That's not a dead body, Sketchy. That's a blow-up doll. I get lonely sometimes and need companionship. Well, I right. Checks out for me. Wait a minute. What about the people you was inviting over your house and was never seen again? Oh, them. Yeah, Marlock killed and ate them. Oh, damn. So I guess we were kind of right. Oh, well, let's go, K-More. What? We got a Tim Marlin in. You can try, but it's hard to find me guilty when there's no body to find. That's why I eat them. Oh, well, damn. There ain't no point of trying. Let's go, Sketch. All right, Marlock, I'm going to fuck with you. Just start killing my customers, please. I'll try, nigga, now leave. Damn, that was crazy. You want to go to Glove World? Shouldn't you be resting? Both of your legs are dysfunctional. Don't you tell me what to do, Sketch. Now let's go to Glove World. <laughs> Make way, make way. Jailbird is being let free. <laughs> I'ma miss beating your ass with my nightstick, Tyrone. No hard feelings? Man, whatever, cuz. I'm glad to be getting out of here. Well, enjoy your day. Be safe. <laughs> I know his day gonna be bad before breakfast time. Get in here, Tyrone. Are you ready for your new job? Born ready, cuz. That little nigga dead. I don't creep. And make sure you join the Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Join the Discord so y'all can keep updated with what we doing. Sketchy. I got it. Damn. Let me do it. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Join our Discord. I was in the back. I was chilling with a ring dog. I don't ask man still playing on the dream dog. I don't give no fuck still playing with my kinfolk. Living in Cali still smoking that endo. I was in the mall. You was shopping in the window. Got a white girl lips pink like flamingo. Got an accent down. Understand my lingo. Got an old bitch. All we do is play bingo. Got an old bitch. All I do is play bingo. Got a girlfriend, but I still say I'm single. All about my chips. You can call me a pringo. Never on clothes, so you know I stay wrinkle. I always stay wrinkle. I always stay wrinkle. Got a lot of deals, money rain like sprinkle. Got a lot of balls, but I never had a signal. Pop a lot of pills. You can call me a pimple. Call you a pimple? Call me a pimple. 
Kimbo Read a lot of books on my Amazon Kindle Talk on the ear just to make the girl tremble Point like a pen cause I never had a pencil Never had a pencil? Never had a pencil Hang with the homies like Avengers or Simbo Not too pop but they say we resemble Got a Lamborghini but I never had a rental Never had a rental? Never had a rental Came with a goat and I'm all in a mento Eat a lot of candy but I never had dento When I eat an ass man I never eat a gento Never eat a gento? Never eat a gento Did it one time it was really accidental Like your grandmaster for the five instrumental Got a lot of money but I keep it confidential <laughs> Keep it confidential, nigga. Y'all niggas be out here talking about how much money y'all got, man. Forget all that. How much bread you got in your refrigerator, nigga? How much ladies you got on your damn tomato, nigga? Talk about that. Talk about some real shit. I was in the back, I was chillin' with a Rento. I don't ask man, still playing the Nintendo. I don't give no fuck, still playing with my Kimbo. Living in Cali, still smoking that Endo.